Trisha, and she's Yang Yang. We are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance ability. While I can feel a thing, it may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! Ha! <laughs> Next time, no one messes with my show. Uh, I mean, what's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share, the sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. 
Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting Sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the Sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are Sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the Sentinels take the shape of a Long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. You were standing face to face with our Sentinel? One can hardly see our Sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the Magistrate of Jinzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya might be in danger. Rover, please. Power is upon us. Answer to our endeavor. That was close. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mo- See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? <sighs> Done. Its design and system version are different from ours, but your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? 
Jinjo sits between the Desert Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijiu here. Where is she? just got here but I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence so it appeared while we weren't looking like in the blink of an eye or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are could it be following us the center of the tacit field isn't that Baija? Too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. My apologies. I should have said it is temporarily safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, the faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. Heating up.
one more time. Swift and resolute. Bad timing. a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit.
Could it be related to your lost memories? Can you recall anything now? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiju, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Residence Medical Department? Hmm. Baiju? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With a human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condense the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong. As provinces, that's where the names Pangu Terminal and Tiangu Databank come from. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. to all of Jinjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jinjo has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. <laughs> <laughs> 